the luxury SUV market is one of the most competitive. Entries in this space are some of the safest vehicles on sale, such as this Mercedes GLC or this Acura RDX. Does the BMW X3 have what it takes to keep pace with its rivals? Let's explore its crash test results and benchmark them to the competition. The updated moderate overlap crash test assesses the protection of rear seat passengers. Of the vehicles in this class that have undergone this evaluation, the X3 is one of the few to score top marks. The restraints do a fairly good job controlling the rear seat dummy's movement. Throughout the crash, the lap and shoulder portions of the seat belts remained in their ideal positions. However, the seat belts did allow too much forward movement, which increases the risk of the passenger's head striking the front seat. The rear seat dummy recorded a low risk of injuries to all body areas. The BMW scored the highest rating of good in this evaluation. This is significantly better than the Audi Q5 and Genesis GV70, which both had problems with the dummy submarining under that seat belt. The small overlap crash test concentrates the crash forces on only 25% of the width of the vehicle, which makes it particularly challenging on the structure. The BMW performed flawlessly on both the driver and passenger sides. The X3 uses a crash strategy to glance off the barrier. This approach significantly lengthens the time the vehicle has to decelerate and reduces the crash forces experienced by the passengers. The structure around the occupants is effectively unfazed by the crash. Intrusion in the upper part of the compartment is an incredibly low one centimeter. These intrusion numbers are better than most of the competition. Recorded injury measures for all body areas were low for both the driver and passenger. Overall, the BMW earned the highest score of good on the driver and passenger sides. Next up is the updated side impact evaluation, where vehicles are struck by a 4,200 pound barrier at 37 miles per hour. The x 3s structure held up quite well in the updated side impact test. The distance between its B-pillar and seat center line is a very healthy 28 centimeters. Driver injury measures are low for the head, neck, and torso. The driver's pelvis, though, has a moderate risk for injury. The rear passenger dummy recorded a low risk of injuries for all body areas. Some of the competition has a high risk of injuries for rear seat passengers. For instance, look at the wide disparity in the risk for injuries to the rear seat occupant's pelvis. The BMW has the lowest risk, whereas the Audi and Volvo both have concerning readings. In the BMW, the side curtain airbags protected the dummies from making hard contact with any surfaces. Ultimately, the X3 scores the highest rating of good in this evaluation. The X3 has a standard automatic braking system. In the daytime tests, the vehicle avoided all collisions with pedestrians. At nighttime, the BMW performed flawlessly in the 12 and 25 miles per hour runs. In this 37 miles per hour parallel adult test, the X3 avoided the collision when using the high beams. However, when using the low beams, the impact speed was reduced by only 43%. Amongst its peers, only the Lexus NX does better than the BMW. The X3 only has one headlight variant and it has decent performance, as long as the high beams are on. These high beams have sufficient range in most scenarios. The low beams, though, fall short on the straightaway and left curves. Fortunately, the X3's high beams automatically turn on. The BMW X3 is one of the safest luxury SUVs available. It has excellent structural performance in the small overlap and updated side impact tests. Occupant movement is well controlled in every tested scenario. The automatic emergency braking and headlights, while not perfect, perform better than most of the competition. If you found this interesting, you should check out this video on the Jeep Grand Cherokee's troubling crash tests. Thanks for watching.